Hey everyone, this is uh, Rob with Soul Gaming. Uh, this is the first of uh, multiple guides that I'll be making for uh, the classes in Darkest Dungeon. Um, my purpose is to make these guides as uh, concise but full of information uh, as possible. Uh, as uh, my first uh, character, I have chosen uh, the Man at Arms. The Man at Arms is an awesome frontline uh, defender. Um, he's meant to uh, buff your party and he's meant to uh, protect your party. So, and I'll talk about how he uh, does that. So, let me jump to his, uh, to his combat skills. As a melee character, he has a Crush, which uh, is just a straight melee attack that affects the three front positions. Uh, it does have a high crit mod, but it has a low accuracy base, so it's not a really go-to ability because it misses a lot. Uh, when it comes to uh, this one here, it's Rampart. Uh, this is a pretty good one because it uh, stuns, it knocks back, but it has a very good uh, base, which is 139%. It also has a good crit mod, which is 7%, so it, it crit crits often. And the good thing about it as well is like uh, if you get tossed around in, in the group, um, you can use it to start moving forward because it has a forward one, so it'll you know move your character back to where it's supposed to be. Now Bellow. Bellow is uh, debuff and it affects every single target uh, in the enemy side and it's gonna debuff dodge so you can hit uh, the enemies better and it's gonna def be debuff their speed uh, just to make them uh, slower so you get more you get more turns. The good thing about it, it, it stacks I think it's uh, two or three times and it has a good uh, a good base 139 percent. Uh, also um, Defender. Defender is, I think, the um, the most important ability that the that the uh, man at arm has, because it'll guard an ally, uh, so it'll, it'll deviate any attacks that are gonna go on him, targeted, uh, of course, uh, and it'll direct them to the man at arms, which will have 45% more protection. And the good thing about this is this protection uh, stacks. So let's say you put a guard on your on your second position. Uh, and then you switch it to your third position, then your prot will be 90%. And I think you can stack it two or three times uh, as well. So it'll just bring up uh, uh, that protection. Uh, it'll do less damage to you and it'll protect uh, one of your allies. Um, retribution. So for retribution, uh, that's, uh, uh, as you can imagine, a good combo with defender. Because what retribution does is it marks you, so it makes you a priority to uh, to the enemies, and it activates uh, repost. And with this, it gives you 20% uh, more damage and 2% crit. Uh, and what happens is, uh, whenever a character or an enemy attacks you or your defended character, uh, he will attack back with uh, repost and uh, uh, do some damage so you can see how that uh, that's going to be a, a good flow uh, of course it, it's going to depend on your party composition as well but uh, yeah this is pretty much uh, how you would use it these two abilities in conjunction are just great for your team he does have some buffs which i'll talk about uh, command, even though not the best buff out there, but it uh, it has its uses. It gives uh, f uh, 15 accuracy and 3% crit. Of course, this is this is a uh, max ability. Um, it's good when you have uh, low uh, base accuracy characters in your team, uh, and you want to bump up their crit. However, it's not something I I recommend using consistently. Uh, instead, uh, I would probably go with bolster first just because uh it's going to bump up that uh dodge and speed on your on your team because uh, it affects every single one of your team a member of, of your team and uh, it's just it's just great because um makes you go faster and it stacks uh, i think you can have, can have it two or three times so it uh, it adds up uh, you're gonna dodge a lot and you're gonna go um, a lot of turns as well uh, that brings me to his stats. I think um, all his left side is important as a tank. 
uh, max HP is important. The more hit points he has, the uh, more he can get hit, because trust me, he's going to get hit a lot. Um, dodge. Uh, the more dodge he has, uh, the more he's going to evade. So you're going to completely negate uh, the damage as as high as, as the, the higher you have this uh, this portion here. Um, when it comes to protection, uh, it's good, but it's it's honestly very secondary because you have the the guard ability. Um, it's good because uh, you know it's going to mitigate any damage that's uh, that actually goes through. So if you if you do get hit, it's going to reduce it. Now speed, speed is important because uh, the higher your speed is, uh, the higher the chance you have to go first or second in, in, in combat. So and you want that to put that guard up and make sure you um, you have that on one of your one of your characters, usually the the second line uh, off tank or whatever you have on your second position. So very important. Um, let's jump to quirks. So for quirks, I um, I do have uh, certain recommendations. Um, the ones you have here are pretty decent, though I would probably change one of them. Uh, but uh, let's go into it. Uh, evasive, evasive is pretty good because it adds it adds dodge, and as we uh, had explained, uh, the more dodge, the, the merrier. Or the better. Uh, prod is uh, is good, though you already have prod with your ability, so it's 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 actually kind of kind of secondary to have as a quirk. Uh, don't uh, don't misunderstand that though. Prod is important. It's just you're not gonna f uh, focus it on on a quirk. Even though I have it locked down here, right? Uh, but it's because I couldn't get any anything better. Uh, quick reflexes is good because it's um gonna bump your speed and as we were talking uh, if you go faster it's uh, it's better it's just uh, it's good for the men-at-arms uh, if I could uh, do it over again and actually it's it, I was very unlucky because I didn't get those um, those quirks I would probably switch hard skinned uh, with on guard uh, on guard what it does is it gives you four speed and five dodge on the first round so on the first round you'll be very quick you'll be able to put your guard up and just uh, not worry about that however I never got it on uh, on my characters on my man at arms uh, another one you can use is tough tough gives you more HP 10% uh, uh, even though it's 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 not the best because you can actually bump your uh, um, HP with trinkets uh, but uh, it's it's another option if you're not getting uh, the quirks you you want. Um, um, uh, when it comes to when it comes to uh, quirks, I think uh, those are my main recommendations. Uh, um, but you should always go with uh, what uh, what you think uh, uh, fits to your playstyle, pretty much. Um, camping skills. Uh, he has very powerful camping skills. Um, I think well these first three are uh, standard for every character in Darkest Dungeon so you can mix and match uh, depending on what you're bringing so you can have encouraged to reduce stress or wound care to to heal and remove bleeds and blights uh, when it comes to his uh, specific abilities uh, ones I would recommend are maintain equipment because it once again it pumps up your prod and it does give you more damage uh, even though it's self only, you know it's it's I think one of the uh, of the weaker ones. It's good for those boss fights though. Don't get me wrong. However, tactics, tactics is, to me is just the best one you can get because it buffs your whole your whole whole party, including yourself, and it gives dodge and crit uh, to everyone. So very good I think for 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 what it costs. Um, Weapon practice is is good because it's once again it's going to buff uh, your companions and it's going to give 10% more damage and f a chance, which is a decent uh, chance to give 5% uh, crit. Um, it's good because uh, it's going to make you do more damage and it's it puts them on on what matters, right? Uh, your whole team, because honestly the mana arms doesn't need more damage. 
instruction is kind of it's bad because it's only one companion it's five dodge uh, three speed I don't see how you would use this over uh, tactics for example I just I just don't see how uh, especially f with the difference of just one time cost this costs three instruction costs three and tactics which bust your whole party costs four so you know um, what else uh, uh, he's good as well with the resistances you can see he has high stun high move high bleed and and decent debuff which is good for for a tank uh, he does have low disease so he, he'll get uh, diseased a lot trust me I've, I've removed so many diseases of this guy um, uh, all right uh, let's talk about the trinkets uh, let's go with uh, let's go down and then up which is kind of how you get your uh, your trinkets pretty much all right so uh, I would recommend for example in the green area I would recommend the heavy boots uh, it's gonna give you move resist and protection uh, early game it's it's pretty good uh, that protection goes a long way and uh, even even when you're when you have that minus speed you can use on other trinkets to kind of negate it uh, but uh, it, it's a good trinket uh, early game uh, longevity eye patch is good it's something I used early on as well uh, it gives you 15% max HP um, and minus one speed once again you can kind of balance that out with other trinkets uh, which I'll show you another good one is the uh, gambler's charm uh, I I would pick this up uh, over uh, the other ones because it you know the negative six death blow resist is, is not so it's not so crazy so 15% max HP quite good uh, what else let's see in the blue department uh, if you're running full torch or above 75 you could use a sun cloak so it gives you five protection and 10 dodge and you can pair it with that uh, sun ring if you want to do a little bit more damage and you know bump up that accuracy or you know you could go more defensive uh, use that with one of the uh, uh, green trinkets it's it's gonna depend on uh, on what you on what you want. Um, if you're running darkest dungeons, uh, that means no torches or torch below 26. Uh, moon cloak uh, is a is a recommendation because uh, it gives you a good amount of prod and dodge and it, the moon ring, which gives you damage and accuracy as well. So you can see that. You know, moon ring, uh, moon cloak, moon ring, and sun cloak, sun ring, are very similar. It's just the torch uh, portion that uh, changes, and the the moon versions are are more powerful for sure. Because you know they should be. It's darkest dungeons are are difficult. So another one that I I, I like to have as a filler uh, that I uh, that I like to use was the feather crystal. Feather crystal, it, it it's it's actually very good in, in general in high levels too. Because it gives you two speed and uh, eight dodge. It does remove uh, some stun resist and some move resist, but um, you can uh, mitigate that too with uh, with other trinkets. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, moving into the um, very rare and legend uh, and artifact uh, portion of the um, of the game. Uh, Tough ring is one of the first that I use that I found very very positive because uh, it gives prot, it gives um, max HP, it does reduce the damage but once again Man at Arms is not supposed to ma uh, be a damage dealer he's he's a protective character so it doesn't it doesn't really affect you that much in his performance another one that I um, like is um, let's see uh, this one here the Ancestor Signet uh, gives you 10 accuracy and 10 protection. The 10, 10 accuracy is good if you want to be a little bit more aggressive to land those uh, those hits. So that's that's one I would recommend if you want to do that. Uh, the Overture Box is good as well because it gives you uh, that 50% 15% max HP and 8 dodge. It does reduce the accuracy, but not by uh, not by too much. Uh, Ancestor's Coat. Uh, that's a pretty good one that I actually prefer. Gives you 15 uh, dodge uh, 
and a little bit of stress, but you know that's 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 manageable. So um, when it comes to the trophy department and trophies, you get them by beating the the third version of the of the bosses. So in in the trophy department, something I like is uh, Wilbur's flag because it adds the, that stun resist and dodge. Uh, another one that I like is uh, Flesh Heart uh, Bleed Resist and 50% max HP. And when it comes to bleed, uh, the more the merrier. There's just too much bleeds out there and they can get very nasty, especially at uh, high levels. Uh, a recommended setup that I like to use is uh, Flesh Heart. So I equip that. And I like to use the, that code we saw up here. So the Ancestor's code. And as you can see, it rounds his uh, base stats pretty nicely. Gives him 68 uh, max HP, 45 dodge, 10% prod, but that's from the quirk and, and the speed. So um, this is how I usually run him. I, I do change the trinkets uh, depending on, on on what I uh, want to do with him. Oh, and before I forget, there's another trinket that I, I want to talk about. Uh, I don't use it much, uh, but it, 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 it does have its use if you want to uh, do the party composition for it. Uh, and it's the shield here. I'll show you. All right, this one, uh, the guardian shield. Um, it gives you 10 protection, 50% uh, more healing received, and 5 dodge. And it's good if you are going to put him in position 4. Um, he obviously is going to be only either buffing and guarding uh, from the back portion. And um, he's going to be uh, taking all the damage, of course. That's why the 50% healing goes, goes a long way. But it does take a... a a party composition that uh, that I uh, I usually don't enjoy having, but uh, in the future maybe if you guys have interest, I'll I'll make a video of it and uh, run a dungeon with it so you can see it. Um, yeah, well, when it comes to that uh, with with the men at arms, uh, that's what I recommend. Um, once again, he's a protector. He, in my opinion, he's not there to. Uh, do damage, uh, and besides, he has so few abilities that I can actually do damage. So um, yeah, um, that's pretty much it, guys. I uh, hope you liked it. Um, please subscribe if you want to see more of my content, and um, I thank you for watching. And make sure to see that uh, description down below. I'll have my uh, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook uh, links down there. All right, guys. Uh,